Hello and welcome to the first video of the rebuild of Burrell Steam Traction Engine 2612 of 1903. Here's a few photos of its working life and amongst these are some photos at various rallies in Cornwall. Here we see it on a thrashing machine and here we see a rally in the 60s. Down in Cornwall it was quite a well known engine and it, it did kind of disappear for a while. It um, finished its life in the 60s when the boiler was condemned. It got taken apart and that's where it laid for a few years. So here we see it in its uh, found condition outside in the, in the hedge but it was mostly complete when it was found a lot of the parts were stored inside and the bigger items were left to the elements you see the boiler on its side obviously it was uh, all condemned So this is when he collected it from the hedge. So there's a few photos here of when the previous owner collected all the parts and had it in his shed. Had a good idea of what was missing and what wasn't. I think he had most of the parts. You see the tender was a bit worse for wear. So this is where the work begins at my place now. So the cylinder block I had on the boring machine and uh, it took about two millimeters out of the bore to clean it up, it was quite warm. So it's had a bore and a hone on the high and low pressure pistons. That's the, the 
regular FSB machine rather. And that's the bow face on the uh, block being machined. The last of the stays being tapped. and new stays fitted. A bit of machining, we did the uh, new crank bearings, a little cord piece of uh, bronze. Then the other side was a casting of our local foundry, um, which was machined. So that's a flywheel side fitted. And that's the uh, gear side casting being machined up. That's the clack pad feed hole being drilled in the barrel and the uh, gasket. Got a corking plate to go over it. Right, in that last little clip we showed on the um, rebuild, so this is effectively what's been done since I've had it, well, before I've had it. So it's had a new barrel, um, new front tube plate, there's a throat plate, it's had a patch in this horn plate. It's had a patch in the back head, it's a new firebox, new foundation ring, uh, spectacle plates, um, anything else that needed doing boiler wise has been done. So I'm at the point of uh, front tube plate's been drilled, ready for riveting. I'm just doing a smoke box now, we'll touch on that in the next video. Um, stays have all been fitted, they just need riveting over, <laughs> trimming and riveting. Um, there's a lot, there's quite a lot going on. Um, I've got a dummy crank in, obviously all new nuts and bolts, we're going to rebuild, we're going to replace everything on it, um, yeah, join us at the next video.